Happy Doomer. Hello, guys. I found some exclusive footage of George Lucas receiving his honorary Golden Palm Award at the 2024 Cannes Film Festival. This footage also includes his speech, as well as that of Francis Ford Coppola, Italian director, writer, and producer. Before we start, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and please consider visiting my Patreon page and signing up to support my work for as little as $5 a month, as I receive no income at all from my videos. In turn, you'll receive nice perks like having your name or brand displayed on my videos or requesting custom content. You will find the link in the description. Anyway, now enjoy the show. So that was... exceptional it is to be here to celebrate the imagination, the persistence, and success of your own kid brother. Well, the first one I ever had. I, I met George Lucas when he was a student at the University of Southern California, which was the competing film school of mine, UCLA. And he was there to watch me direct my first studio film with a crew much older than me and all wearing suits and ties. When I asked this informally dressed young 19-year-old in a sweater what he was watching, he said, nothing much. <laughs> so, pleased to have someone of my own generation, I suggested he continued to come every day, but only on one condition, that he come up with a brilliant suggestion every day, which he consistently did. And with that began an association that has lasted a lifetime. As I continued to watch him with his brilliant ideas throughout his entire career, including the first music track of a hit, Songs of His Era, totally of the score, the first film to have a brief explanation of what happened to each character at the end, and the first film with the titles in the middle. And he went on and on, making film history, story history, business history, and now history in France. The country where cinema was born, with the Brothers of Lumiere and is celebrated with more passion than anywhere else in the world. I also remember George when he returned so sad and rejected, having gone to the owners of Flash Gordon, the protagonist, protagonist of a space comic book in 1934, and he said they told him he wasn't important enough to trust with their famous character, the star of serial movies that he loved so much as a kid. And he looked at me and he said, well, I'll make my own movie. I'll call it Star Battles or Star Wars or something. And so he did. And in the process, risked everything he did to make it. Congratulations, George. Not only am I and your many friends proud of you, but also the world is here proud to honor you. out of nowhere. We didn't ex I didn't expect this. It's, uh, he's a great friend and a big brother and a mentor and uh, I thank him for everything he's ever done for me. Congratulations, George. This honor is yours. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the Cannes Film Festival, which uh, my cohort, co-writer, Sound ed editor, great pal, uh, who came to the Cannes Film Festival, our first, my first professional movie be shown here, 52 years ago, in uh, the uh, director's first director series, and uh, it was pouring rain, and it was one of the greatest moments of our lives. We had to sneak into the movie because we didn't really. Warner Brothers wouldn't have much to do with us, so that was, so this is a great circle, and uh, I 
can't thank all of you enough because uh, I'm just a, a kid that grew up in a vineyard in Modesto, California, who makes movies in San Francisco with my friend Francis. And uh, we had some other, you know, Saul Vance and some of the other uh, people in San Francisco, but it's definitely a different world than the... I've actually never made a film in Hollywood as a director. And uh, so uh, it's a real honor to be here. It's a real honor, I tell you. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you. So that was about it. Thanks for watching, and make sure to also watch my other videos.